Welcome back mga kadesmax. So today pupunta tayo sa Electronics Junk Shop sa Oakland, California. Mamimili ako ng mga related items para sa aking upcoming projects. Tingnan natin sa Google Map para may idea kayo kung saan ang Oakland. Traveling from my house in Vallejo to Oakland, it takes about 45 minutes pag may traffic. Eastside lang siya ng San Francisco at konektado siya ng Bay Bridge. Before I get started, shout out muna tayo kay Sir Jana Long ng BNB Racing, Pinsan Bong Mendez from MechTech Machine Shop, Sir Christian Cruz ng T10 Works, Sir Mech from Precision Flight Controls Philippines Incorporated, and my friend Derek from Milsim Technologies. So tara na, para bigyan ko kayo ng quick tour sa Bay Area I-80 Freeway papuntang Junk Shop. So, nandito na tayo sa Oakland. Easy access lang ang location dito at walang problema sa parking. Halo-halo ang mga gamit dito. Normally, mga computers, monitors, TV, telecom equipment. Pero, minsan, tsambahan lang talaga na matyempuhan ang mga fabrication equipment. Nice! Magagamit ko pa ito. Excuse me, how much for this? $100. This one? <laughs> sa totoo lang, nakuha ko siya ng $5. Big savings compared sa online used for $60. Also, wala siyang kasamang mounting plate which costs about $29 brand new. So, ang na-score ko ngayon ay stepper motors, controllers, servos. Magagamit ko siya sa pag-upgrade ng mga conventional machines to CNC. But that will be in another video. Balik muna tayo sa shop at makapag-fabricate ng pyesa para magamit ito sa GoPro camera. As you can see, meron siyang missing mounting plate. Maganda ang kanyang overall design, constructed out of aluminum, and it has a very solid feel. The locking lever has a 30 degree angle. There are two ways I can fabricate this part. One, I can set this up as a tilting vise for 30 degree, or two, I can use a 30 degree dovetail cutter. I'll be going with option two since na meron akong 30 degree cutter na hindi ko pa nagagamit. The mounting plate dimension is 1 and 3 8 by 1 and 1 quarter inch. Ubutas ang kusas sa gitna, then use a quarter 20 tap para ma mount ang OEM GoPro slide mount. Since nagagamit ko siya na media mod case, kailangan na mas mahabang thumb screw para madali siyang i-release sa mount. Ang overall length ng thumb screw is 1 and 5 8 inches, the diameter is less than 3 quarter inch, at ang thread pitch is 1032 or equivalent siya sa M5 by 0.8 millimeter. This project is going to be fun and easy to make, so sit back and enjoy the process.
magic of time last video. I just really wish it takes five minutes going your mga pieza. In reality, that took me almost a full day. But anyways, back to the workbench. So this piece pinintahan ko siya ng glossy black. Yung original thread niya ay pinutol ko dahil nagka problema ako sa aking 1032 die. Nagcut na lang ako ng stainless screw at tinap ko yung part. And finally, nagkamali ako sa measurement ng mounting plate na to. Niremedyohan ko na lang at gumawa ko ng aluminum wedge. Perfect naman ang kanyang snap lock, super tight at walang alog. Nobody's perfect, basta may discarte ka, walang problema. Let's move along to the rest of the assembly. Ang ayaw ko lang sa OEM slide mount ay plastic siya. Madali siyang masira, so next upgrade, gawin ko siyang aluminum. Overall, satisfied naman ako sa resulta. Everything is ergonomically correct. With this camera rig, madali na mag-vlog sa loob ng aking home shop. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat if you have gotten this far watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to hit that button right below. You can also follow us on our Facebook page, that's Desmoc PH, or you can visit us sa aming website at www.desmoc.com.